Hey guys, it's Talon. I'm back with another video. Today, as you can probably see and tell from the video title, this is episode one of Building Utapau in Lego. Now, this video is going to be probably a little bit of building, but a lot of like explaining and analytical type of stuff. So if you don't want to hear any of that, just skip to the building. Um, but if you want to hear kind of what's going to go down with this mock, the plans and that kind of stuff, stay tuned for this. Um, there is one thing you will want to know, so don't skip yet if you are going to. But this mock, the episodes are not going to be weekly. Um, I can't do them weekly. One, school is so annoying. I don't ever have time because I have school and I have baseball. And baseball I have like almost every day. Today is my off day. On a Tuesday, yes. Um, Tuesday is, today is my off day. And man, school is so annoying. I got lucky today. I only had one piece of homework, but usually I have loads of that stuff. So yeah, that's one reason. And two is like, I'm sure a lot of people know that actually watch my channel regularly, that I can, I'm not allowed to buy parts like all the time, like bigger YouTubers do. Like I can't just, oh, hey, I'm missing some gray. Let's order some gray bricks or whatever I want to buy. I, I just, I just can't because my parents will not allow that. I have the money to do it, but I'm just not allowed to. So yeah, this is, this is going to be a slow mock. Who knows? I mean, the next update for this might come out like in like, I don't know, a month. You never even know. It might even be a couple months before the next update comes out. So just letting you know that um, in the, in, since that's going to happen, I am going to try to include as much building as I can in this. Um, but of course, I have freaking chores to do. I get done with school and I have chores to do. On my one off day, you have to give me chores, parents. Come on. That's what happens um, when you're 15. Uh, but anyways, so let's talk about the mock itself and kind of how it's going to be. So, Utapau, as everyone knows, is, or most people should know, is a planet from Revenge of the Sith, where the 212th goes in to try to take out General Grievous and Obi-Wan. Spoilers, if someone hasn't seen Revenge of the Sith, I don't know how, but Obi-Wan does kill uh, Grievous. And Order 66 goes down, Obi-Wan does not die, as everyone should know. And yeah, that's 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 Utapau, if you didn't know. Um, and basically, they're big, giant, like, craters in the ground. Not not really craters, they're like cylindrical holes in the ground, where they the Utapauians, I don't even know how you're supposed to say their race, but or their alien species, but whatever the the, the Utapau people they live in there and there's multiple levels and stuff and with this mock there might be multiple levels might be if i really feel like it i might go for multiple levels but it depends um yeah we'll just have to see on that one but there are multiple levels i at this point won't be building multiple levels but maybe down the road if i'm able to i will um so what i'm basically going to do for the mock is as you can see, this is kind of like the edge of where it drops off. Like this is basically like a drop off point right here. So I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna put there or if I'm just gonna keep that blank. I was thinking of filling it with tan plates, which I have a bunch of bigger ones over there to just fill in over here to make it look sandy. But basically this platform is supposed to be probably a thousand feet from the ground at the bottom. So it's supposed to be high up, but you know, as you can tell, this plate, that it's not working like that. And this space back here is all I'm really going to need for the battle and kind of what's going to go on. So yeah, as I just mentioned, there will be a battle. It's the scene. Um, the scene has to be like my one of my top favorite scenes. It's probably like a two-second scene from Revenge of the Sith, but it's during the Battle of Utapau where after all the clones unload and start shooting at the droids, they charge in and just a ton of them get shot. And then the crab droids are running in, starting to shoot everyone. And yeah, it's... It, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be right here and probably right in this vicinity is where General Grievous and his wheel bike are going to fly off of here. Um, and yeah, that's basically what it's going to be. I don't have a Boga, so um, I don't know what I'm going to do there. I might have to try to buy that set, the older Grievous wheel bike, but we'll see. I might just have Obi-Wan without the Boga because once General Grievous gets on the wheel bike, Obi-Wan isn't on the Boga yet, so... 
Obi-Wan has to call over the Boga to come and grab him. Um, so yeah, I'll have to deal with that, but that's basically what is going to happen there. So let's talk about kind of the design of the mock. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do snot floors. Tiles are just too expensive and I don't have enough to be able to do tile floors. And I think doing snot would work better to do all the details of the floor. If you look really closely at the Utapau uh, floor, it's pretty, it's pretty detailed. So I'm going to have to do snot for that. And this area right here is actually from the original kind of General Grievous chase thing where the airborne trooper got attacked by a Grievous. Um, and this was in that video. So I just incorporated it in here. And basically it's going to be, so there's going to be this uh, beam here. I don't know. I don't know if it's a beam or just part of the platform. And it's going to go all the way back there. Um, I mean, snot is going to start here and go all the way back there. And then, so as you can see, it comes to here comes up here and over here, and this is going to continue to the edge of the mock. So it's going to be at this um, length from that side out. Now, one issue that I'm running into that I'm going to have to try to solve, I'm hoping to purchase a BrickLink order fairly soon, um, but is under here, if we look past Obi-Wan, you see how I'm holding this all up with the, the tan bricks so it doesn't look like I'm not doing anything right. Um, but yeah, I'm using tan bricks, so it looks good to hold up these platforms. Basically, I am um, I'm about out of tan bricks. I barely have any left. I probably, I have what looks like in there a couple 1x6s, and I don't know, I'm gonna have to just search for tan bricks, but I'm almost out, so I'm gonna have to purchase some at some point, but basically, yeah, that's that's an issue there already. And another thing is, is I'm not going to put up any pictures because I don't, I'm trying to ask LifeBrick Studios on his question video uh, how he knows what images he's allowed to use. So I, because I don't know if I'm allowed to show you pictures of Revenge of the Sith and Utapau, but I would to show you the design of the floor, but I can't. But so basically the floor, it's like, it's not really arrows, but there's a lot of diagonal uh, lines within the floor. And most of those diagonal lines are dark gray. So, let me just look really quick. Um, I have no dark gray slopes at all. So, I'm either just going to have to lay just regular bricks down with, like, tiles on them down in there or something. Or I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to figure something out to get past that. But, yeah, that's my dilemma there with the dark gray. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um... Yeah, so right here, as you can see, I'm raising the floor so then the snot um, technique can sit up on these plates. And yeah, it's basically just going to branch off from this back. This is going to get destroyed. I'm going to redo this because I kind of have to at this point. But yeah, um, really, that's what's going to happen. Um, talk about minifigures real quick so you can see them here. I, the, oh man, the 212th there... They need help. Um, droids, I'm perfectly fine with. I have a lot of droids. Um, droidicas are something I need, and I don't know if Legos made a crab droid yet, but if they have not, I'm going to have to try and find a custom model or something I can build, and who knows when that'll be. I'll, I would want probably two of the crab droids, so yeah, I'm going to have to try and find something with that. But um, what else is there? There's also the Octopod droids that are in the Utapau Troopers Battle Pack. Um, that one would be really perfect, and they're really, really, really cheap on BrickLink. I mean, I'm sure you could find them for probably like seven bucks on BrickLink, from, even from the United States, because nobody really wants to build. So I could buy probably two, maybe three of those, because they are in the background scenes of the Battle of Utapau. So I'm going to use those, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, hopefully buy a couple, maybe three of them to put in here. Um... Oof, but yeah, the uh, 212th, they're pretty low on troops. We got Obi-Wan over here. Obi-Wan's perfectly fine. I can just steal somebody else's lightsaber to put for his. Or In the scene, he doesn't have his lightsaber ignited, so I could just grab, if I grab the right color, I could just grab one of these and give him it, because I don't know if he, he 
He doesn't have this yet. General Grievous does. So he's going to have to lose his lightsabers, lose a couple arms, and he'll he'll have this. Obi-Wan will have just this. There won't have to be a blade because it's not ignited. Um, the troops. Now, the troops, they are low, low, low. <laughs> we got the AV figures one over here, which, okay, that's fine. Um, I'm probably going to include him anyways if this mock ever gets finished. Um, we got... Two incomplete 212th troopers from the battle pack, and one incomplete airborne trooper from the battle pack, and then just a regular phase two clone helmet there. I don't know, I'd have to look really close, but I don't think there's any just regular phase two clones in the Battle of Utapau, not that I've seen, but I'm still going to include one for now at least, just to kind of, um, what would you say? Just add more troops, basically. I mean, it's, it's no real way of saying it. Just adding more troops, because I don't have very many. So, yeah, basically what I'm going to do is, since I only have the helmet, I'm going to take it off my weird little stand there and put it on this clone right here. And boom, just ditch this. And give him a blaster, and we're good. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Um... This guy is my, one of my only two complete 212 troopers, which is the airborne trooper from the uh, Grievous Starfighter. And then we have the AV figures one, but yeah, we're looking low on troops. So hopefully at some point um, I can get the legs and the torso for both of these troops. The heads, if I'm able to order the Sprinklink order that I'm hoping to buy at some point soon, I will be getting the angry clone heads. I'll be getting probably like 26 angry clone heads, if I'm not mistaken. Um, because let's take a nice old trip over here past the weird fake clones. Look at all these incomplete dudes. So many of them are missing heads and they're angry clone heads. So I have had to order a lot of stuff for these incomplete figures to try and finish them. And heads is one that will hopefully be ordered soon. So this guy will get a head. Unfortunately, I don't have a comma but he'll get a blaster as well because I will be ordering blasters in that order. Um, but yeah, he'll he'll be near complete, but he could be used for the mock um, once he gets his head and blaster. Because the comma, it's, a, it's nice to have, and I'd like to get it at some point to have the full figure, but it's not needed. So yeah, um, I'm just going to think real quick if there's anything else I need to explain. Um... I think that's basically it. Now, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start building here. I'm just going to plate this off this section right here. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about because it's this area right here. Just could put some two by whatever plates in there to hold um, the snot uh, floor. And I'm going to try and figure out how I can make that floor good. Um... And yeah, I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to look at some reference photos and yeah, I'll come back to you with whatever progress I get on that. All right, so I'm back. Now, it was probably only a, like a second for you, but for me, it was probably about 30 minutes. Built this long, long gray just platform area here that's on the edge. And as you can see, there's some stilts holding it up there because, well kind of have to, or this thing's going to fall, because if you look under there, the plates end right there, and there needs to be more plates under there to be able to hold it up. And remember, back back here, there's no um, risen area to keep it up. So we're, um, yeah, we're coming to a point of, well, we need some parts, man. We need them. Um... Yeah, I'm really going to have to see if I can get these. But I, if my mom says no, I'm going to flip. Of course, I just got a bad grade on a Spanish Spanish test, so that doesn't help. So I'm going to probably have to wait a few days to hopefully get some better grades in. Um, then I'm going to ask. But yeah, um, I'm going to have to see. Hopefully, I I thought I checked, but those Brooklyn stores that I'm ordering from, this doesn't look very tight. The Brooklyn stores that I'm ordering from, I don't, need, I don't think I have any tan plates, bricks, anything, which sucks because I'd have to go through another store. That's not tight either. 
um, and that's not, yeah, that kind of sucks, but, um, I'm just gonna have to go through that, that's my issue, not anybody else's, so I'm gonna deliberate myself with that, but as you might also be able to tell, I plated all this down here, now yes, there is a, uh, odd little plate back there, um, but that's because I literally ran out of one by one plates, and I don't know what happened to all my studs, all my ten studs here. Let me just let you face the file first troops real quick. So here's all my studs. Do you see any tan in there? Because I do not. I see a lot of gold and a lot of yellow, but no tan. And that weird little brown color there, but... No tan. At all. That is disappointing. I don't know what happened to it. I swear I had it. I swear I had tan studs. And you might be saying, well, maybe you put them up in your storage system. Yes, I did that with the dark blue studs, in which that is a possibility, but I checked. I don't see them anywhere. I have no idea. So I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do here. But first, I just want to say... And I figured out a solution for this, the troops issue. So I'm going to try and finish these troops here. But if you watch any of my AV figure stuff, which <laughs> is my most popular stuff on my YouTube channel, which is insane. Um, I got all these helmets. Um, if, if I think if you watch the um, first AV figures video, you will see uh, why I have so many, because that was an accident. Um, but yeah, uh, those are knockoff helmets, but they are, that, they're what I used for this trooper here, and it looks perfectly fine. It's not, doesn't look discolored or anything wrong there. Um, so I'm hoping to order some Jonak Toys decals. I need more angry clone heads, god damn. <laughs> and I need, uh, the just white torsos and the white legs. So hopefully one day I'm going to get those. Uh, it'd probably have to be my next BrickLink order, which will probably be in months, probably around Christmas. But yeah, so I don't know why I set all these guys up here, but I just did because why not? I feel like every YouTuber just sets up random troops and their stuff when they're going to go to another segment. But um, that's, the, I don't know. Um, so next I'm going to start working on this. Like I said, I'm going to put a plate down here and hope that uh, seals the deal for this area so then I can start making the uh, platform out of all these, the, all this gray here and then wherever the rest of the light gray is. I'm trying to look up, oh, yeah, all this, this full peggy brick cup of those. Um, but yeah, so if, if you're wondering why do I have so much gray, which I'm sure some of you aren't, but if you really are, then now you know. And I took down all of my Minecraft sets, like, because I used to have a ton of the Minecraft sets. I had, like, the mine, I had the cave, the Steve's house, the little farm. They were, it was, like, the first wave of the Minecraft sets that LEGO ever made. I have all the micro sets, and all but, I think, the end and the nether, if they made it in that first wave of Minecraft sets. And I took them down because they were poorly built so bad they're probably the worst built lego stuff i've ever had um yeah just terrible so i took them down and well i have tons of gray from them dark gray i wish they had more of but they didn't um so yeah i barely have any dark gray um not enough for this mock that's for sure but tons of light gray so yeah let's get moving um i don't know what i'm gonna do over here because this is just supposed to be risen to hold the platform so i'm probably gonna have to extend the platform all to the end here. I'd also like to buy at some point. I'm gonna see if I can, there we go. Hopefully I can buy some tan snot bricks of these. So once I raise this up, I can put them here to connect the, the, uh, the, the platform there because that's what I'm doing here. That's why this is nice and snug up against this end is because I put snot bricks down in here to hold this. So. 
We'll see if I have any of those, but I don't think I do. Um, I might, but I don't think I do. And I don't have the tan bricks to be able to hold it up. Oh, wait, never mind. I do. I have. These are the only tan bricks I have left. So I'll have to see about that. But yeah, I'm going to get working on this. Well, I had done goofed in that last clip right there. Um, we have a little bit more. Uh, this was connected down there. I don't know if you saw it in any earlier clips, but these, I've still got a few in there. So, uh, yeah, um, I do have bricks, so I'm gonna get working on this. Well, it has been an entire week. Yep, I am not coming back to you in not even an hour after I just recorded the last clip. This is a week, literally a week. I was recording the first clips on last Tuesday. What is that, September 20-something? I don't know for sure. But today is August 5th. So yeah, it's been a week. Um, I'm back. Uh, I'll explain in a second, but this is what we have. We have the floor design done. And man, I'm pretty happy with it. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna have to do some explaining, because as you can see when you look down, you can see the... Uh, plates that are underneath but I would fix that if I had black plates but I don't so that's okay but there's another way I can fix it in which I'm going to um so yeah why I was gone for a week um it's only been a second for you guys but I didn't have any time I did not have any time and you know what I just figured out and you know what I just saw it's October this obviously will not be completed in the month of October but Okay, it's October. I'm building a mock in October. Perfect. I'm good with that. So yeah, um, we're looking pretty schnazzy here, if that's even a word. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do to fill in these gaps, I just want to tell you that first, and then I'll tell you kind of the process of building this. So we got all the gray stuff over here. Um, this is good. So well, I, I figured out that a 1x3 tile will fit in here, so what I'm going to do... Is drop oh no it's gone i'm gonna have to drop tiles in there to make that i'll get that out later but you know what i mean i just drop tiles in there let me grab a one by three and the one by three if it was able to sit on something it would be standing up so i'd probably have to get two by three tiles which they're not very common but i'm sure you can find them um who knows when that'll be and I also need to get more of these slopes, as you can see. Uh, I literally even ran out of, like, discolored slopes. See, there's an empty spot there. It's because I'm completely out of the random colored slopes. So that's something I need. And then I need more dark gray cheese slopes, which those shouldn't be too hard to find either. But yeah, so how did I build this? Well, I'm going to go deconstruct this and show you real quick. So basically, this side and this side are not connected in any way. There's no studs connecting them together, so they have to slide together to be connected. This is the mid beam thing that I just put in the middle of them to make the gray stripe going down the middle. And so the, um, the kind of arrow parts here, they are in here with a whole bunch of different random stuff that I had to do. Uh, we have the outline of the gray plates on the bottom then the cheese slopes like these yellow ones are supposed to be dark gray um and when they are that's basically the uh the gray outline kind of coming up and then over up over up and then around down the middle and around to this side as well um and when i put the tiles in these slots here then that'll make the outlines of the gray uh, sectioning off these kind of like arrow halves um and yeah what I also did was I put a tile over here to go up against this beam to make it flat so the studs aren't sticking out and it looks weird I mean I think everybody understands why I put tiles there and yeah over here I had to do a little bit of kind of hoping that when I put these together it would be straight and flat up against each other and not be kind of like off and it's not really it's actually pretty flat these tiles are flat up against each other so that's good 
But yeah, um, just a little update on parts. So we have basically almost the entire pick a brick cup still full of two by two bricks. We have some one by twos left and we have these, which I've actually used a few of because I'm out of two by four light gray bricks. Also, we have some dark gray and some light gray. Um, what are those? One by two by twos or something like that. Um, so yeah, we're running low. I'm gonna need to buy more stuff in which I'm hoping to very soon. Yes, I've not placed that order yet. Uh, I'm hoping to soon, probably today or tomorrow, pr preferably today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully get that done. I'm gonna have to lower the price because I'm at a hundred bucks right now. I've never ordered a brick and mortar that big, and I was hoping to be at like sixty bucks. But you see, I have all these incomplete figures over here, and some of their parts are a little expensive. Like there's a five hundred first helmet in my cart that's like nine bucks. It's really expensive, but since it's in the store that I was buying stuff from, I just decided to put it in there, and I might take it out, but I really want it because it would complete one of my two incomplete five hundred first figures. So yeah, I'm going to have some deciding to do um, on the cart situation so it makes it easier and more possible to buy the stuff. But yeah, um, that's basically going to be it for this video. That is the chair making that noise, not me. Um, so yeah, um, that is it for this video. What I'm going to have to do over here, I don't really know for sure yet. I'm going to have to finish doing the plate thing that I was doing down this empty strip here. And then I'm going to have to find the designs that are over here. But yeah, other than that, um, we're, we're getting pretty, pretty close to kind of having the entire thing. Sorry about that. Uh, I just had to belch really quick. Um, we're close to having this, this entire area almost figured out because I don't know what I'm going to put here yet for designs. I'll have to go back to the reference images I was using. Um, but yeah, so we have that done, and then just probably a couple more different designs there to finish that off. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, like the video, if you like kind of how this is going and how this has started, it is a pretty big start, I would have to say. I mean, especially for the size of the mock that we're going to be having here, it's, I mean, a lot, a lot. It, it covers a lot of what we're going to be doing. I'm still obviously not done, not close to done, uh, because, you know, that why I'm saying I'm not close to being done is because, well, parts and having to order parts and it taking a long time to be able to order parts and that kind of thing. So yeah, one day that'll get finished, but subscribe to the channel if you're new for more of this mock. Um, like I said in the beginning, it won't happen all the time, but I will be able to get it out at some points. And comment down below what you think of the mock and what you would like me to possibly add and that kind of thing. So yeah, uh, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you in another video.